um, our tech, our regional tech coordinator is Zach Younger coming to the Marcus Center. I believe I just read it might be next week or whatever, and he's going to, I'm sure, offer a class. And he's going to show us how to set up a 33 touch in command, which is what we've all been waiting for. It has the capacity today. I'm not sure it's going to have the content yet. So I've still got my names in eEdge, and I'm still sending out my newsletter. So I wanted to show you how to do that. If you just wanted to, in the interim, get that newsletter going, and then you can learn command and add more things as you wish and as they become available to us. It does mean working out of two locations, and you have to have your database in two places. But right now, we're in this in-between stage, and that's kind of what's happening. So to get to eEdge, right, this is our eEdge panel up here. We're going to go to marketing, hit the little plus sign, and we're going to create marketing materials. And that takes us to the home page for marketing in eEdge. Well, no, it doesn't. Not nice. So E and J, what was the next one? Um, marketing, the little marketing plus sign. So this is basically the eEdge panel, this up here. This lets you to contacts, it lets you to your marketing, here's the reminders that you've got set or any messages you've got from people, and uh, to get at your listings. But again, um, we're going to hear from Zach more and more about how everything is moving into command, right? So what I do in eEdge right now is I send all of my sphere of influence a newsletter. So let me see if I can go there from here. So I'm in my contacts right now, and I'm going to go to marketing. And I'm going to go to the marketing center. Starting to provide that. Um, 
we'll learn more about what their touches are. So right now, we can most easily access the newsletter by going to the monthly newsletter right up here. It's at the very top, the first item that you can click on. <clears throat> and you can see here that I have um, completed, 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 and I come down here, and here is my newsletter for November. It's scheduled to um, be mailed on the 12th. When you activate your newsletter, it's going to give you a date. You can't change that date. It will always be using that date. So I am aware of the 12th, and I make sure I go in here and edit it before that. You have about two weeks before the newsletter goes out where it says the word you get is personalized. Once you go in there and personalize it, it then says, well, do you want to edit it? Because I've already personalized it. So I'm going to show you what I did. Santa Claus in there and say 
Mele Kaliki Maka to everyone, you know, and, and send it out that way. So I have graphics in here that I've done in the past. Yeah, my last December one doesn't show anymore. So, um, so every now and then, and that is an easy way, that's really an easy way for me to talk about stuff on Maui and to get it out. I don't have to design it. I don't have to create additional articles. I can just add to this and be talking about local statistics. I could be talking about a listing. I could be talking about hot picks, right? I could do anything here and the vehicle is there for me. And hopefully we're gonna learn how Command also provides that for us. But in the meantime, this is what I've been doing. So I recommend you take a look at that and see if this is of value to you and take advantage of it. It's really easy to use. Does it cost anything? No, this is part of what we get. So um, this is part of why I, I love eEdge for the content it provides. And I'm like waiting for command to have the same kind of content so that it provides it. And in the meantime, I'm kind of going like this. I'm doing my marketing over here. I do some things, you know, as command has more, I go there. Like, I like their flyers. Their flyers are really nice looking. The door hanger's awesome. There's stuff in there that's improving all the time, so I have to keep checking it, right? And one of these days, it'll probably transfer. Keller Williams continues to believe in a 33 touch and they understand that they need to provide us with content, not just the mechanism to set it up, but with content. And so until command has the content, I'm still in the edge. And um, my date is um, on the 8th of each month, it looks like. So I have how much time to notify? Um, they give you about two weeks. They'll send you an email or they give you a notification up here. Um, so check in about, you know, if it's on the 8th, check in by the 25th or 27th or something. And can I modify it then up in, and including the 7th or? Up through, right, mine is tomorrow and I just modified it, right? Okay, so I have the whole time period. The entire time period. You can go back in several times. Okay. And be slow. Understand that this is not publisher. This is a limited capacity modification so it's frustrating sometimes don't expect it to do too much you can bring a picture in you can write a paragraph I don't think you can change the background color I don't think you know it, it's limited as to what it'll let you do but that's all I care about is the content and a picture if I can do that right lets me change the type size and make it bold so I can make a new header. I use the underline spacebar to make a line between my paragraphs. I just kind of make it work for me. Okay. Yeah. Is that marketing tab on KW, is that also where we can make flyers for open houses? Yeah, that's a great question. So let's just go back there. So we can do flyers for open houses in two places. So I'm going to show you the two places you can do that. Okay. Well, I think. <laughs> Save and continue, cancel. I thought we would go over that in uh, open house class, but there was no mention of it. Yeah, so this is a um, this is a good question. There's two things about the open house class. Number one, not the class, for open houses. I urge you, urge you, urge you to set up a campaign in here or in command, however you want to do it, that is called your open house follow-up campaign. If you don't have a way to easily get people with a thank you email and to remind you to call them and to remind you to send them a handwritten note or whatever or send them another email, send them a nice card through the email, however you want to do it, and then they go into your newsletter campaign. If that isn't easy, it's not going to get done, is it? If things aren't automated, systematized, they don't happen, do they? So I try to show everybody how to start their own campaign. And as soon as this war work click clicks to the beginning, we can take a look at that again. Because it's not hard to set up a campaign in 
eEdge, and you just give it three steps, and you write the email, kind of generic. I've suggested to people do an open house follow-up campaign for people who live here, and an open house follow-up campaign for people who don't live here, so that you can say, it was so great to meet you, I know you're going home soon, I wish you a good trip, come back to Maui soon, and I look forward to staying in touch, right? And over here, you can be a little more like, I'll stay in touch and um, be available to you. Let me know if you want to you know, start actively with your search or if you want to start looking at things, I'd be so happy to help. Or whatever you want to say, right? And then your phone call might, you can write yourself a little script and it might say, uh, I'm just gonna see if I hit something if that would make a difference. Yeah. Look at that. Give a little reminder and it goes somewhere. So um, it might say, thank them verbally and then say, um, is there anything that, uh, any questions you had about the unit you came to see yesterday or did you go look at any other units? You know, we were talking about all the open house signs that were available. Did you find anything you liked? And da 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 da. And then, oh, by the way, I noticed that I didn't get your address. What's your address? Notice that I didn't say, would you mind giving me your address? There's a big difference. Giving an option to say no. That's correct. When we sent, when somebody says to me, um, I noticed I didn't get your address. What's your address? Now, if I'm a bold, brash person, I might go, why do you need my address? Most people, however, are just in conversation with you. They kind of liked you. And they're going to go, oh, okay, yeah, it's da 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 da. And then they might say, but why do you want my address? And you say, I love sending postcards and cards. So I'm going to send you a card every now and then. Like, I might one of these days give you a call and ask you when your birthday is, but I'll do that in the future. <laughs> We're just getting to know each other. <laughs> you know, you can make a joke, right? So, um, so you write your script as to what you're going to cover in that phone call, and your goal is to get complete contact information, right? Did you get their G email? Did you get their address? And then you send another email, or now you're going to send a card to let them see that you sent cards. And then at the bottom of your campaign, you can say, now this becomes goes into my other group and becomes gets this mail or whatever I've set up, like my newsletters, which is really cool, right? Okay, so back to the marketing center. Oh boy, it took us all the way back to, um, it didn't like going to the marketing center, does it? Hmm. Oh, there we go. We are looking for email and video marketing or print marketing. See the print here? So you got emails. These are individual emails if you just want to send one off to people. Um, and here is print marketing. So print marketing offers you some options. And they are, do you want postcards, flyers? Yes, we want flyers. And there are flyers. And here you go. You could choose like, hmm, I kind of like this one. This is a nice flyer. Or here's one. I like three pictures down here. I'm going to choose that one. Right? And you pick one. And now you can personalize it. You can put the photo of the house that you're sitting open house for right here. You pull three more pictures. Does everybody know that all you have to do is right click on a photograph in Paragon and you can save it? That is done intentionally so that we can easily get pictures off of there. Mind you, you don't want to be taking pictures you don't have permission to take. But if you're sitting open house in a Keller Williams listing, the law says you are a listing agent to that house, right? Because it's the brokerage that is the lister. So you're part of, you're an agent for the brokerage. That means you have an obligation. You have a right to market this property. So you're going to pull more information. You can put your information here. This is going to automatically fill in. And our logo is going to get pulled in. And you've got yourself a flyer. And if you're sitting in an open house for somebody who's with another company? Well, um, obviously, you have permission to um, sit there. And you can ask, may I have permission to make a flyer? 
and now you're promoting a house that isn't a Keller Williams house, you're gonna have to say that boldly, okay. right? This property is uh, being sold by, and um, I can help you, uh, represent you as the buyer. Is there a template that kind of has that? No. Okay. <laughs> no, because it's just a sentence, yeah. This house is listed by Caldwell Banker. I can represent you as the buyer. Where did you come from here to get to that? And you can just print that in your home printer. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. yeah. You can actually download it. It'll be the option, yeah. right, yeah. to make it as a PDF and download it. Yeah. And then you can print it. Okay. Yeah. So we do, do you want to sit on All right. So the other thing I'm going to show you then is. of six emails and three activity steps. So six plus three is nine. That's because there's a reminder in there, right? So um, you can kind of tell from the header what it's about, the key to your new home. Um, and there's a, always a team version and an individual agent version. That's just for the graphic layout for the multiple pictures or whatever. So you scroll down here and you can find um, here's a 12 direct, a 12 direct, that's six email steps and six direct mail steps. Um, there are 12 directs that are just direct mail, a healthy and happy home. So if you're looking for a farm campaign, right, just a campaign to, to introduce yourself and stay in touch with a farm area, there are campaigns in here that are 12 postcards. You set them up to go out once a month, you upload your list, you can get the list from escrow, right, a list for a neighborhood, you clean it up, you upload it, and it goes out for 12 months. And now, is it going to take you a day to do all of that? Probably a couple of days by the time you get the list. Cleaning up a list is a little tedious. You want to People own more than one house in a neighborhood. You don't want to send them two postcards. You want to send them just one, right? So you got to clean them up and do things uh, to a list sometimes. And then that's your list, and you upload it. Uh, an awesome way to do it. Um, one of the campaigns I like the best is this Did You Know campaign. So I'm just going to go here because I think that you can do this via email. You do the multi-channel. Or you can do it, well, it depends on what kind of addresses you have for people, right? If you've got email addresses, that's great. But I just want you to see what they are. So this is an email version. On a postcard version, this is the front of the card, and this is the back of the card, laid out a little differently. So the front of the card has this picture of a washer or a dryer, and it says, did you know? And if you got this in the mail, you kind of go, did I know what? And you have to turn it over. And there is great value in that. If I get a stupid card that looks like full of a real estate number, yeah, yeah, I don't really care about that. But getting it to have me turn it over and then read dryer sheets, clean the dirt, what, what do they mean? Yeah, but okay, what does that mean, right? Um, how is it useful? And they teach me a new little trick. I'm going to go, who is this? 
you see where I'm going? Right. So it's just a different kind of campaign. You can also, all of these emails and all of the cards are also in, available individually. So if you wanted to modify a campaign, an email campaign, and go, this is too much, it's all too, just substitute. Just bring in a new graphic and say, I don't want to do this one, I want to do this one this month. And you can make a campaign, like you can do four of these, right? They go up four times a year, you do a did you know. And four times a year, it's um, how's the market, the real estate market, and it talks about the nation, national real estate market. They're very good emails, very good emails. I don't have my picture, I don't want to put my picture on. Why not? of me. Do we have to? We're not going to get into the psychology of this. <laughs> no, we're no. I mean, my doctor doesn't have another car. My dentist doesn't. Yeah. Are there 1,800 dentists out there that people have to remember which one they met and when you get, you know? But I'm just saying, like, if I got a car so, from... I, I, I look like a pup, you know, like, what do I know? I'm, I'm just like, I don't know, I just, if I see like an old man, I figure he's done it longer, I don't know. If you don't want to put your picture on, you don't put your picture on. How do I get rid of that? Um, so that would be setting up your E-Edge. Um, oh, uh, to get out of here when you just click on the image, you got to go down to the bottom and hit the close. Thing. Don't use your back browser, it'll never get you there. You can go to over here to account, and under your account it says my account. You go to my account. I'll find it. <laughs> <laughs> and you scroll down and there's your profile picture. Take it out. If you don't want your picture on things, take it out. Delete this uh, and make sure the logo's here. Okay? Mm -hmm. And make sure the website is the website name that you want to be using and um, everything else. Okay. And that reminds me. on and on 
and on and on. So what I'm looking for is a short one, right? I don't want a lot of words. I don't want a lot of whatever. Um, so I'm going to find a short one so I can just write a real short, it was so nice to meet you kind of. Um, and here's one, it's called Download Our Real Estate App, right? So I might just choose that one to remind them. Yeah. Are there just listed uh, email templates? Like if you list one in a neighborhood email, or is that better for a mailbox flyer postcard? Um, I would imagine there are, but I'm not sure. Here we go, just listed, just listed, just listed, just listed. All I did was put just listed into the keywords. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to X out of that now. So I'm just going to find something that looks graphically appealing to me that I can modify. See what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's all. Here's a Veterans Day card. I could have sent that out last week for it to arrive today. There's all sorts of stuff in here. There's funny ones like this one with all the little duckies and it says getting a little crowded. Or this one here, how cute is that? I mean, if you sent that to somebody, that's adorable. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. And you just, now we personalize it. I can make a headline that says, thanks for stopping by my open house. It was so great to meet you. I can change this picture to a beautiful sunset on Maui or a beach on Maui and have a little email that says, it was so great to meet you yesterday. Thanks for stopping by. No, no, no. Right? And then that becomes... My, I add it to my campaign. There we go. And then I add another step. And my next step is not going to be email, it's going to be an activity. And it says, when should this happen? So notice this one here is scheduled seven days after I added the contact. Well, that's not right. I want this to happen one day after I added the contact. Right? Right. And then I want this to happen one day after the prior step. And I'm going to call. So what kind of a task is this? Well, it's a phone call. And I'm going to write my script. Right? And it's going to be a little different with everybody I call, but basically it reminds me, ask.